For as long as I've known you, you've had these pants. <laughs> What's up besties? Good morning. Whew, today is a bit of a crazy day. This is officially the first day that we are weaning Bonolo off of dummies. I'm looking at her now in the monitor. I actually just got her to nap. I had to rock her to sleep, lay down in bed with her. Not her crib, but Betty's bed. And she wasn't budging, so I ended up getting up and rocking her manually to sleep. And now she's finally asleep. The biggest motivator right now for us to basically just wean her off of the dummies is because the past two days she, you know, there was this white lining under her bottom lip. And I just assumed it's because maybe she was drinking too much juice and water that her lip was too moist. You know how sometimes it happens to adults when your lips are dry and then they get moist and then you have that white peeling thing. So I assumed that was that. I didn't make a big deal out of it. She still had her dummies, I still washed them and um, I wasn't, I'll be honest, I wasn't sterilizing them as much as I used to before she turned a year old. Just cause right now she sometimes throws it on the floor and then she picks up and she eats it before I could even get to it. It's been such a mess. So anyway, they're back in school now. I don't think it has anything to do with school because it started before school. This morning she woke up and the bottom part was it still had a little bit of the white lining but then it was like all red and the top part too last night when she went to bed i remember thinking to myself i wonder if this is thrush you know that little rush that kids get in their mouth i was like i wonder if that's it at the same time i wasn't like freaking out about it so i just gave her a dummy she went to bed everything's great this morning she woke up and it was both on the bottom of the top lip and i've read somewhere on dr google that like it's a vicious cycle if this is not attended to it's gonna go here and it's just not gonna get healed until you do like you give antibiotics or whatever so anyway we've stopped the dummies i booked her an appointment to go see her pediatrician now i'd have three later today or oh, could i do three I forgot. I think there's also another push over the edge that we've needed to stop her from taking dummies because we've just not been motivated. I think we got to a point where I was like, I'll do it when she's old enough to understand that she doesn't need a dummy anymore. But honestly, I think now that's the right time. But it was hard getting her to take a nap. It took all of 20 minutes. I know it's just 20 minutes, but honestly, it felt like a lifetime. For her to sleep she was struggling to settle down on her own i first put her in her crib by herself and she was just struggling to fall asleep she was crying not consistently crying like she would lay down and then start crying because she's looking for a dummy and then she would stop crying and try sleep and then start crying again so i ended up just going to the bedroom and just laying down with her <laughs> look at this one so excited for her mm -hmm. banana. banana is it yummy do you like banana mm -hmm. why do you like banana it's good. <laughs> All right. I tried laying in bed in peanuts on peanuts bed with her so she can fall asleep, and she was just struggling. She kept laying down and then getting back up to look for her dummy. She looked on top of the drawer, you know, the places where she knows the dummies are normally on. There's nothing there, and she was just not having it. So I ended up getting up. I put her Lula doll on like super high volume, so the whole bedroom just sounds like a heartbeat and breathing sounds. Um, and that's when she settled on she lay down on my chest and she settled down and finally fell asleep Looks like we're gonna have to do that consistently for like two weeks straight before she actually Gets to realize that she can fall asleep on her own without the dummy <laughs> and then we have to then slowly transition her into Falling back asleep on her own isn't it like we get there we put on the lula door and we put her on her bed and she falls asleep on her own <sighs> Kids, ne? Kids. I took a day off work so I can take her to the doctor. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower. Probably should get this one to take a nap too. She need, he needs to take a nap, but he's just acting all tough. What's happening? Oh no, did your banana break? I'm sorry. Hmm? It's okay. He might, he might not eat it because it's broken. Is it fixed? Yay. Oh. Sorry. This boy and his perfectionist self. <laughs> Out of 15 minutes later. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you, yeah. Okay, sorry. She is really struggling to fall asleep. I'm going to do this laying in bed with her. She's completely awake because she took a power nap. 
Are you not able to sleep today? Peekaboo! I see you! Peekaboo! Yeah! Yeah! Funnel is jacking me my cake. Mm -mm. Yes, you are. <laughs> you don't want to shop. Mm -hmm. This is also a shop, you know. Huh? You don't want this one. Which shop do you want? Mm. Okay, let's go see. We'll go to the shops now, now, now. Let's go help Daddy find pants quickly, and then we go to shops. Please. Oh, we found it. What are we doing here? What? This. It's okay. It's okay. Shake it up. Go get it. Okay. Why is he like us? You're fearless, huh, buddy? Can you come down now? You are scaring me. What is he doing? <laughs> Close enough. He's imitating this mannequin. Close enough. Come on. <laughs> Does it smell? <laughs> is it stinky shoe? Here, go put it there. Dude. Look at him back to the step later. Bye, Please take him down. Where's Banana? Banana face. There's Nana. Here. Nana. 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 Baby, why are you unpacking things? Yes, go put it back. Huh? In the car. Are you gonna pay for it? Don't eat that yucky. Are you gonna pay for it? Do you have money? Is that your money? <laughs> money. Hello. Hello. Buddy. Come on. We're going. Bye. Come. <laughs> I'm still here, still waiting. Still waiting. <laughs> Dizzy got what he wanted. I didn't even vlog where we were going. Mama. Yes? Ready? Ready. Ready for what? Because home guy needed pants, lounge pants. So he got that. He's kind of sort of happy, I think. Hey, go sit down. I was asking him to buy hey. gray, <laughs> gray yeah, track suit. This boy, this boy. <laughs> I was asking him to buy a gray <laughs> track suit so we can all buy it and then we look like we're driving BMW. You know, those people that drive BMW, they're always rocking their gray track suits matching with their partners and stuff he won't let me be great because he said no we're gonna go to postnet to post something but we have a delivery and apparently the guy who's delivering the delivery is driving a big truck that won't fit through the gate so we have to wait for him at the gate he said he'll be there in 20 minutes i think we can still make it go postnet though <laughs> turns out bonola's appointment is at quarter to three, which means we have to get Kebe from school at half one. We're gonna pick her up at regular time anyway because um, she doesn't have to do any activities this week or, or um, holding class. So we're gonna pick her up and then we have to quickly rush back. Not rush back home. What am I saying? Hold on, let me catch my breath. 
what I was saying is Bonolo's appointment is at quarter to three and not half past three like I initially thought which means right now it is almost 1 p.m. KB comes off at school at half past one and she's not doing extra murals or holding class today because she's the only kid in school. I'm warming up food. I'm going to put it in a container for peanut and noli basil and they will eat after we pick up KB at school. We'll pretty much just park in the parking lot to feed them and then we make the drive to the doctor's appointment. Initially, I thought the appointment was at half past three so I said we go to Mr. Price was to get Dizzy the pants. I quickly pop into Posner to post something and then we come home. I feed the kids and he goes to fetch KB. They come home, she changes and we go to the doctor's appointment. That's not going to work out at all. I think the other thing that's kind of throwing us off is the oh I broke my nail. It's the fact that we also have a guy who's delivering something for me and the truck is not going to fit. So we chopped Postnet to come straight home to wait for the delivery and warm up food. When I'm done here, I'm dishing it up into a container. We're picking up the delivery by the gate, getting KB from school, feeding the kids, and we're off we go. We need to leave KB school by 2 p.m. so we can make it on time. Like, I don't want to be there late. Because if you're late, you know how doctors work. Um, the first come first step thing even though you made an appointment I don't want to spend longer than I need to at the doctor's appointment at the doctor's office so that's that now I'm warming up food the kids lunches in here I packed them rice pretty much leftovers from last night and I got them bananas too hot 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 ow we got to the gate just in time as the truck was coming here turns out all they want is a banana mm -hmm. complaining though because I get to eat their food. I think the food, the um, mince is is a bit spicy. Like it's making her thrash itch a little bit. It's very uncomfortable for her. Let's yeah. mm -hmm. see it. <laughs> there we go. Do you want more banana? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thankfully I packed the bananas. It's almost like I knew. They don't want to eat the food, so I will eat the food. Other way, this way, and go through. Thank you. I think Bolola wants more. I think she wants more. Oh, you don't share anymore? I just got these from Checkers for me and Dizzy, and I'm giving the kids. Oi, are you okay? I got the Kit Kat there for the kids. And then nose. <laughs> What's it going to the bin? Bye, pants. It's been real. How many years with these pants? They never finished. <laughs> for as long as I've known you, you've had these pants. <laughs> and I've known you now for almost 11 years. Hey, Nello. Okay, goodbye. Mmm. That's a good bite. Oh. Oh. Bulala. <laughs> Lint is no law approved. <laughs> Finished. You love yourself some chocolate, huh? So it's a few days later, I'm actually editing this vlog and I realized that I never did get back to you guys about what happened at the doctor's appointment. Sure enough, she had thrush in her mouth, um, probably some sort of bacteria that she picked up from her dummy because that's literally the only thing that makes sense to me. She is also teething. Um, her top two teeth are coming out hot and fast. She's been struggling a bit with that. Not that it had anything to do with the thrush, but I thought I should just throw it in there. The doctor prescribed us this oral gel that we gave her when we got back home and two days afterwards and she was pretty much healed like we've never had to use it i'm just gonna keep it handy this is what we were buying when we were on the queue at clicks the doctor wasn't too concerned the pediatrician about the thrush because he said it was gonna most likely clear out on its own but it's a good thing i brought her in just so we can have this at home this oral gel just in case it comes back again it's apparently for treatment of oral thrush and fungal stomatitis 
no idea what that is and then he went ahead and prescribed some espalon for her because she had a little bit of a rash and she kept scratching nolly Nos has got mild eczema and so he didn't really want to prescribe me the cream because we've had the cream before and everything was good it's been fantastic since she was a couple of months old and then now it was kind of sort of resurfacing back but he said it's most likely because of the thrush but the espalon should be able to help it fix fix it from the inside out so he didn't want to give me a cream and espalon espalon has got steroids so i'm not i'm not the biggest fan of it but i mean if it's healing it's fantastic so he said i must give her once a day for four days from that appointment i only gave her for two days and she was completely fine so i stopped the espalon and i'm just keeping it at home just in case it works wonders when she has crazy allergic reactions too but yeah that's that she had thrush she is doing amazing now she is for the most part healed the thrush is gone the rash outside has gone she's not scratching as much it's just the eating and the drooling and the blocked nose because of the teething other than that it's fantastic Tonight we're running on the right track.